Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sure. Uh, so let's let's start. Uh, so in, uh, generally, I've been playing knight f3 g3 in this tournament so far, but I decided to try to give checkmate a bit quicker because I feel that I'm quite a bit slower than my opponent. So therefore, I start with e4. Let's see. This is just some, some old line. I think taking on c6 is considered a bit more critical than this, but this is also very solid for white. Should be a bit better. Uh, but now I need to come up with a plan. I guess as long as I just keep the position, I should be slightly better, but uh, I wasted some time going back and forth with my bishops. Probably not the best way. Now he wants to be four, probably. I should go e5 at some moment. I'm just not entirely sure when. Probably the last move was, was a good, good moment, but now I will have to play for d5 instead. I mean, in, in, in general, white advantage should be quite safe here, I feel. There is not really a, that much compensation for the slightly weakened structure. Can I go here? If it takes three times on d5, I thought I have some queen h5, maybe. Looks pretty decent. Uh, he doesn't. So now if I take on e6, it's not that nice. It's queen f3 I really didn't like. It's probably quite a dubious move. Uh, uh huh. Let's see now. I mean, he's quite vulnerable on, on e6. So this shouldn't be too bad for me. Uh, let's see now. Knight e6 looks tempting. Bishop g5 is a move. Bishop g5, knight h5. Do I have anything? I have some takes on e7. Hmm. I can also start with knight e6. They don't really want to. Bishop g5, knight h5, queen g4. Looks like it should work. Ah, he just moves. Yeah. Let's see now. Bishop d6 is an issue, maybe. Not here, but on the next move, so. Okay, he doesn't play for it, but. Let's see, I, I expect bishop d6, I will play queen d3. Hmm. Let's see, now this I did not expect. Now I think I'm quite a bit better. Let's see. To me it looks like a pawn up. Maybe he doesn't care that much about pawns. Or maybe he didn't know what else to do. Uh -huh, so now he wants to give some checkmate maybe. What about knight before? What about rook c1? Rook c1 he takes. Knight before looks like a move. I should speed up, I guess. It's a bit slow now. Knight g5. Uh, uh -huh. See now, he must. Uh, he goes there. Uh -huh. Mm hmm Yeah, this was a bit stupid by me, probably. Should still be very, very good though. I mean, it's an exchange and a pawn. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I fucked up a bit. It should still be very, very good though. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it should be winning somehow. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's completely winning, of course, but the uh, question is how fast can I win it? Mm, let's see. What is the fastest way here? I guess f4 and then play for mate. He stops it. Mm, can he stop it? 
I probably cannot stop it for too long. Uh, okay. How to give mate? Maybe H4, H5 is an idea. Time is running. I need to give mate faster, but. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Hmm, now it looks like, okay, at least I'm winning the night. Ah, uh, fuck. Oof. I mean, yeah, even even two rooks up, it's not that easy to, to win a game in time, but okay, uh, I mean, finally, it was enough. Let's see, so probably I should just not stop to think there somewhere in the beginning. Let's see now. Uh, Nimso. Let's see, I'm playing some... Slightly old line. It's a bit better for white, but not anymore. He should play d5 instead of e4. Let's see, but he's playing it very fast, which is a bit unpleasant. Knight f5 was probably better, but let's not go into details. I want to play a5 and then after b5, c5, so that now I'm not blocked. Otherwise, he could, he could block me. Let's see now. I think I'm decently satisfied with my position. Should be comfortably equalizing. So g6, I'd be the seven. Now rook c8 is coming, I guess. And his, I mean, he doesn't really have that much play, I think. That's the main, uh, main issue for him. Uh, now I want c4 and take on a3. That's why he played a4. See, maybe h5. I don't want to weaken myself. I'm playing it quite carefully, but uh, but I'm pretty pretty happy with my position. He has to break in the center, but I don't really believe that it works for him. So if this is five, I can play d4, but maybe I can also just take back, which was my original intention. Now he goes there. I guess I can play knight g5. Knight e4 next. Take with the knight. Then probably with the pawn, yeah. Yeah, this was not so good. He goes bishop c3 now, yeah. And now and then it's not uh, not so obvious what I was doing. Uh, let's see. Can I play something like h5? Should I save my bishop? I guess I will just play something. Let's see, take, 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 take on c3, queen c5. Now he can go rook d7, yeah? I should probably not, not have allowed this. He can go do it also on the next move. Actually, I'm just worse here. That was unfortunate. I mean, I'm probably worse. Not sure. Let's see, maybe some h5. But my king is very weak, that's the problem. And I don't really see what to... Uh... Yeah, this is very unpleasant. How to defend? How to defend? Maybe to counterattack instead of defending. If I get a4, then I have some hopes at least for the future. But I, I do believe that my position is terrible simply because his... Uh, his... Uh, Pieces are too strong. Let's see now. He wants to deliver mate, but I'm not sure that there is mate. Uh, let's see. Queen e7, queen h6. Queen, I mean, queen f8 is a move. It's safe, but it's not fantastic. Let's see. Do I, did I blunder the mate or not? Queen h6, queen f6, then king f8 will come. 
looks okay to me, but queen e5, I guess. And then maybe just run with, with the pawn. Why not? Let's see now. Okay, one I play bishop b3, and I'm very happy if I can get rid of his knight. But if not, then I play a3 and a2, which I think is very, very nice for me. Now I want king f8, king e7. I'm not sure that it's, uh, it's the correct way, but that's what I want. Let's see. Maybe move the bishop first. Take the pawn. Go bishop d7. Maybe a3. Can I play a3? King f8, queen h8 maybe. Rook a8. This maybe. Now I really have a lot of play with the pawn on the a file. I think actually maybe I'm just winning now. Rook a5 is a move as well. Maybe it's a good move. Just to take this. So what is this? I need to make progress somehow. Ah, I blundered. Fuck. Such a game, yeah. Actually, I, uh, to be honest, I didn't expect to uh, to be even close to flagging him once in the whole match. But I think this position two pawns down. It was very difficult for me to make progress. I should probably somehow activate my king. But his knight was so so good the entire game, which was really annoying for me. Okay, let's go. Let's see. this uh-huh some opening that i have no idea what is going on uh, but i do believe some sort of id normally is to stop this was very strange he should play bishop d7 first i think now i just win a piece if i see it correctly not sure what happened there for him. Now it looks like a rook. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I really, I mean, he just should play bishop d7 before queen e7, of course. Let's see if he wants to play on or if he he plays on. Of course, he's a big fighter. Uh, so now, how to not make this too embarrassing? For me, yeah, this is already already feels like it's going a bit <laughs> not the way it's supposed to be. But uh, let's see, can I play h4? Queen b5, g3, I guess. Ah, queen b3, trading queens. This was, yeah, okay, but uh, somehow it's difficult to play like with full concentration when you're already a rook up after so few moves. Uh, on the other hand, of course, I don't complain. It's very nice to be a rook up. Uh, let's see. But I really should uh, make sure not to waste too much time. Because it's it's definitely possible for me to get flagged here. So I have no doubt at all. Uh, let's see now what happened here. thought I could play some knight c6, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so that was just, I mean, it was not really a game that I won, it was just him who, who blundered a piece in one move. Uh, 
So now with black again, yeah, black is always very tough, especially against such dangerous young players like him. Uh -huh, he goes for, did he actually mouse slip? Yeah, could be. Maybe he has some problems with his mouse today, I'm not sure. But... Why else you would play like this with white? It's the London system, the infamous London system. Uh... Ah, no, knight should be on on uh, on d7, yeah, otherwise you lose a pawn, just d takes c5. Now I'm a pawn down, and the London system is, turns out to be a great weapon for white. Uh, this was really not, not great. Can I castle short? Can I castle long? Can I play a4? What can I do? I play h6. If he castle short, I will also castle short, and then hope. Hope that I can muster up some compensation, which is really very doubtful. So now he wants this. Okay, I play. Yeah, but I'm just a pawn down. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Knight e7. Okay, let's play for the central compensation, even though it's there is no compensation basically. Uh, rook e8. Mm -hmm. Can I play d4? Would lose another pawn, but maybe I get some sort of some sort of play at least. Uh, yeah, but there is no play, but I do it anyway. Knight c4, okay, let's take. Now at least I have some sort of. Uh, yeah, but not even that I have. Uh, okay, what to do? I have a good nice square on g4. Uh, yeah, but I'm just, it's very bad actually, this. And I think by, by each of my moves, I'm making it worse. Which is not, not really how it's supposed to work. Uh, so let's see, eh, where is my potential for counterplay? Uh, nowhere, probably. Eh? Now we will probably take somewhere. Yeah, this was, uh, I just done to the pawn and then I really didn't manage to fight back. Uh, let's see. Knight g6, maybe. Ah, but it's so bad, yeah, this, oof. I mean, it's, the pawn is just the very beginning of it. Let's see, I have to go to b8, maybe. Yeah, now knight b6 will come. Knight b6, I have to try knight f6 just to complicate a bit to compute, but it's also just lost. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Rook d6, rook a7. I feel like resigning, but on the other hand, it's also a ridiculous thing to do. This time control. Problem is he will just trade queens now. Uh, what can I do about that? Knight of eight. And now he will play queen d6 and not queen d8. Ah, oh, he plays queen d8. Okay, what to do? Take it, g6, king g7, then probably resign. Yeah, what to do? I mean, it's completely, completely, completely lost. Yeah, that's the problem. Let's see, knight e6. Knight c8. Yeah, that's it then. Yeah. Okay, good game by him and uh, not a very impressive game by me. Uh, so I think I played even too fast in the opening. So let's see, next game. What will he come up with? He will probably, my guess is that he will try to play a new opening in each game. I'm not sure why, but it feels like his style. Uh, he's thinking a bit, yeah? So this again, and I will try to surprise him, but not very impressively so. Uh, uh -huh. Let's see if the young guy knows the old lines. 
Mm -hmm. I think bishop takes c3 is the critical move instead of uh, e takes d4. But then again, this has not been seen in any sort of level for the last, I don't know, for the last many, many games, or many, many years even. Let's see, bishop f1, take, take, knight d4, knight d4. Uh, what is going on there? Should I just take this guy? Now, if it takes on D e4, I hope that I win his piece. Like knight g5, d5, f3, something like this. So he should probably play d6, but then I will take on d4 and I will just have a, a pleasant advantage. Maybe too small, but still pleasant. I mean, too small to, to win it in, in the sort of allotted time here. Uh, probably it was more, it's more critical to keep the knight, not to let him, uh, but anyway, he moves away. Uh, let's see. Knight f5 now, looks like a decent move. I think my position is sort of improving a bit by each move, but then again, is it improving fast enough? Let's see. Uh, okay, let's take, let's play b5, I guess. I just want to play against his, uh, his pawn on c7. That's my main idea. So b6, in d4, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not too too sort of sure what I'm doing, but uh, I guess I want just to double on the C file. Some tricks he wants. Let's move the king maybe. Uh, let's move the queen maybe, just to be sure. I really want to keep everything protected here. Now he wants to take there and he also threatens knight d3. So probably he tricked me. Now knight d3 will come, but I have queen b1, queen b1. do I have queen b1? Then bishop f5? I am not sure. What else do I have? I can take on e8. Ooh, what is this? Queen b1. I guess I play queen b1, bishop f5, and then just move the rook. Maybe even take on, maybe even take on c7, yeah. Why not take on c7? Looks like a pawn. Maybe he has some tricks. I mean, or should I say probably has some tricks, but uh, can't see it, so. Mm -hmm. He wants to trade. Okay. Let's take there maybe. No, I cannot. Yeah, it was uh, some mess. Okay, let me take. I want to get back with my rook in the defense, but I'm not sure that it helps. So. Yeah, this is very tricky for me. I'm not at all convinced by what I'm doing. Trading rooks should help, but... Uh, Creating queens should help even more, actually. Now I'm beginning to, to feel a bit more confident, actually. Uh, by that, I mean that I should probably just be winning. Uh, let's see, can I take there? How do I win this? Thank you. 
actually this time I managed to sort of give mates quite fast, which for me is very rare. Uh, I mean, I was a bit better. And then he managed to sacrifice one pawn and get a very nice counterplay, but he missed this idea of trading queens after which I think I was firmly in control again. Uh, so let's see what happens. Uh, will it change? He's been playing d4 throughout. And London was a big success last time. So let's see, he plays c4, let's play c5. Here I had some painful losses recently. Let's see now. Uh, let's play this system. I like this system. This is very solid. I mean, I'm just trying to sort of block everything and at some point this queen c1 constellation has to be moved anyway. It's my sort of ID with all this, but but now I'm acting a bit inconsistently because I play g5 to uh, uh, to anyway be allowed to castle, which <laughs> I said that he would have to move anyway. No, never mind. Let's just sort of see what happens here. I want to play, probably I need to move my knight. Let's see, what do I need to do here? I play do I need to play queen d7? I really wanted him to play e3 because it allows me to play h5, h4, which I think is a very dangerous plan. Uh, he stops it with knight e4, but that allows d5, I thought. Let's see if he has a reason why not. Maybe he thinks this is sort of the lesser evil. Wouldn't surprise me. Mm. But I, I think I'm just sort of pleasant, yeah? Even maybe slightly better, uh, if I understand this position correctly, which on the other hand is doubtful. Let's see, uh, rook d1, knight d2 he plays. Now I can take on e3 if I want, but do I want to? It looks fun, but not, uh, not entirely serious. Uh, can I take it? No, I would not take it. It was very interesting. I already already regret that I didn't. Let's see, now 96. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He protects. Let's see, I play rook e8. I think at some point I will take on c4, yes. Sort of knowing fully well that it's not the most principled way, but. Now I'm sort of slightly happy again, I think. Uh, looks like I might just pick up this pawn here on a4, which is, I mean, if a pawn is a pawn. Now bishop c4, he plays what? What does he play? Queen, e queen, uh, yeah, but I will trade. I, well, this is not okay, let's see, it takes. He will take on an a4, I guess. I will probably take there. So I'm a pawn up, but am I doing that well? I want to play g4, but probably I should play. Ah, it's hanging on a7. Uh -huh. Let me try to protect, but yeah, he has compensation somehow. From somewhere, I'm not sure from where, but let's see what happens after e4. Uh, queen d5. I want to trade again. Again, he has this strong knight on d4. Maybe I have some uh, <laughs> some problems uh, there in my understanding or whatever. But when I play, my opponent gets a very strong knight for no reason. Uh, let's see. On the other hand, I think I have the stronger king, which normally speaking is is the more more important uh, part. So. Of the game. Can I take? Take. Click five. Take. In f3. Mm. 
I have some attack for sure, but I also have the possibilities of trading. Even the possibility of taking a pawn and then trading, maybe if I'm lucky. Uh, let's see what to do now. It takes. You should probably take with the pawn. I mean, he needs to take with the pawn, but this also isn't that fun, I guess. Uh, let's try to rook. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> With the queen and the rook, it's much easier than with two rooks, actually. It's much, much faster. So <laughs> I think <laughs> the point, point is to just queen very quickly when you want to flag, when you want to avoid getting flagged. Mm. Okay, let's see. That was actually, I think maybe not such a terrible game for once. Maybe the, the, the highest quality so far in the match. Not that it's just too much. Let's see now. Mm -hmm. This is some old line. How does it go? Can I remember a thing or not? I think it's like this. Uh, probably Long Castle was a bit more ambitious. But this should be okay. Normally the idea is to sort of get some play either against the king or uh, against uh, the queenside pawns. Therefore I want to keep my bishop on, uh, on the correct diagonal. But I'm not too happy, I think he equalized comfortably. One might even suggest it's an opening disaster. Let's see. No, I want queen e5. Okay, the ending is absolutely fine for him as well, of course. Uh, but the middle game might be even better, he's claiming. Yeah, not unreasonable, I guess. Let's see. Um, now I want knight e5. Do I have a reason? Not sure. Uh, yeah, it's really quite sad, this. But uh, let's see, queen h4. This was a bit strange, this move, I think. Now, he's giving me time basically for what I want. Basically, not entirely. But, uh, 95. Actually, now maybe I'm better. Not sure. But, uh, I mean, I have some ideas, like, yeah, let's see, I c4, is, does it do anything, it's in d4, e4, knight d7, take on e7, uh, no, probably I'm not better, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what should I do, I should do something, but I should do it fast, mm, b4. can I play b4, no, I cannot, I will play queen g3. But I'm not proud of this move. Oh, I will take queen up. Okay. Let's see. Uh huh. What's going on? Mm hmm. He decides to play on. I guess very reasonably. Okay, let's see what happens. B4. Can you play knight e4? 
97, 97 is more sane. Uh, yeah, why did I play like this? I played like it because I wanted to get rid of his rook, but I'm not getting rid of his rook. Shit, this was really bad. Oops, I missed rook g5. Uh, so now he takes with the knight, maybe, or even with the bishop. Uh, this was not very nice at all. Mm -hmm. He takes this, I go with one. At least I have Luft. It's maybe the only positive thing in my position. Should be three, b5. Okay, let's say queen e3. What should I play? Maybe rook c1 and c4. Bishop f1, maybe. Oh, yes, to be solid. I will play bishop f1. Now knight d3, knight c5, maybe. Some ID. Uh, knight e4, rook c, rook a3, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Now oh, f6 will come. Oh, now I have time to play. What should I do? Oh, knight takes a6, is it possible? Rook a8, b5. Knight c7, what is going on? Mm -hmm. Ah, shit. Disaster! Now I have to fight like never before. He takes it, he takes it. And he flex me. Yeah, okay, this was a very bad game by me. I should have castled long. Instead of castling short. He, it was too pleasant for him and too easy to play. Yeah, this was uh, sort of a pity. But he played, he played well, I guess. Should be said, both of his wins have been very convincing. Uh, let's see. So. Let's see some Sicilians. Bishop g5. I, 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 oh, I don't remember anything at all. I do remember queen a5 was a move. Back in the old days, I played queen a5 in all these positions, but I never equalized. Let's see. Uh, I, I think the queen is just misplaced on, C on a5, that's why it's not so common, and for uh, for very good reason. Let's see, you know, e5, takes, takes, am I just busted completely? Bishop g4, takes, queen f4, I mean, uh, it looks completely bad, this, uh, knight g4, maybe knight g4 is possible, knight d5, take on e5, why not? Let's see. Looks okay, actually. And if it's okay in the night of, it's bit, it's uh, it's winning. That's the thing with the night of. That's why we love it so much. Mm. And it looks very okay, actually. Let's see. Hmm. Knight b6, it's hanging on b2, and eh? that's very useful. Otherwise, my knight on g4 would be lost in the end. Uh, but now it's just uh, basically pawn up, yeah, and uh, maybe even bishop, some bishop pair. Can I play bishop e6? He will take on e5. I take, check. Looks a bit unnecessary. Probably bishop d6. Maybe, what should I do? King f8? King of eight looks very strange. Bishop e6 takes, takes, knight check. Okay, why not? Enough thinking. Too much. It's really terrible. Now I'm going into a sort of unclear ending instead of just being torn up with the bishop here. Okay, for some reason he doesn't do it. Okay. Bishop c4. 
bishop f5, I guess. Looks very decent. I'm really hoping not to blunder anything big here. I'm not sure I will manage. E6 is, I think, very stabilizing. Then, then I'm completely, completely stable everywhere. E6 or uh, he, I mean, even castling. Yeah, looks. Now he goes there. E6, I guess. I'm letting him sort of win back the bishop pair, but. The rising position is just very, very good for me, I think. Yeah, he doesn't even want to do it. Uh, maybe here. Oh, this was very unnecessary. Maybe okay. Yeah, that's okay. Rook d7, knight c5, I think. And otherwise, maybe bishop d8. Not sure what I'm doing in this part of the game. Uh, let's see this. Yeah, this was a bit st stupid. Probably. Yeah, I played so bad. I guess. Is it equal pawns? Oh, I'm still a pawn up. That's very lucky. I want knight c3. If I get knight c3, I think. Yeah, I think that's a good move. Uh, can I play e5? No, probably not. Check. Uh, I should do something. Now I want e5 and e4. If I get it, I'm happy. Now I trade rooks. Let's see. I think I should be way, way, way faster here. Okay, I know here I think basically uh, this e5, bishop takes f6 and e5, it's sort of, we didn't really have a clue and then, I mean, neither him nor me, but it turned out to be very good for me for some reason. Okay, let's see, now with white. Let's see if I can do something a bit, a bit better than the last game. Let's see. He plays French, of course, again. What should I do? Maybe advanced. No, I will play again this knight I will take now. Is it like this? No, I normally... <laughs> come on. I think normally they take on d5 first. That's how this line goes. At least maybe with my strange play, I could sort of hope to confuse him. Uh, let's see, I have no idea what I'm doing now. Let's see. I'm just making moves by this point. I really have no idea what this thing uh, Let's see. Should I take and play? Yes, yes, cousin. Night before, I can take an f6. Play bishop b4. Okay, I should speed up also. Uh, Mm -hmm, this, I guess, knight g3. Can I play before or he just takes it? Oh, probably I could play. Uh, 
let's see, I want 95. Why do I want it? This we will never know. Uh, I guess I take an f6, right? And knight h7. Can you play gf? GF looks very scary. Ah, like this. Uh, queen h5, bishop rook d3. Queen h5, rook d3, bishop. Uh, maybe it just doesn't work. Then at least I should keep my bishop, I guess. Bishop g7. I really, really felt that there should be a win there, but if you can't find it, then you. And what to do? Yeah, you have to play something else. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. mm. Still, maybe this structure is not so easy for him. Yeah, the king. King looks vulnerable, actually. Uh, G six. Maybe I can just take it. Actually, then queen e six. Looks very, very dangerous. Sort of. Potentially game over. See, g6 takes. I will take it and then we will see what happens. So now, if queen h5, he goes f5. Yeah? Bishop c4. Well, let him show his idea. I, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, ah, this is his idea. This I, of course, did not see at all. Uh, queen h, queen g6, bishop f6 takes, he will take. Probably it's actually uh, not so bad for me. Because g5 is hanging. Uh, should I take g5? I guess I should just take it. I should just try to. All the usual things, yeah, not to get flagged, not to play too far, too slow. F3, I will, I will not uh, touch, I think. I will just go from there. Not sure that it makes any... Ah, but his bishop is alive. Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> this was not very <laughs> impressive. Okay, what to do? Now, I mean, because the endings now are not clear at all. I thought endings would always be winning for me, but... Uh, what can I do now? Repeat a bit. Always nice. Can I play queen e2? Maybe check and queen e3. Yeah. I think the the main sort of hope for me is actually that his king is very, very weak. I, I hope and I, I think. But mainly I hope. D7, let's see. How do you defend yourself, my friend? Uh -huh. Rook C7, I guess. Time by way. See now. Uh, what can I do? Uh, what is this? I have no idea. What's going on. Uh, <laughs> what did I do? I mean, I could take a draw at any moment. And this was very, very bad. Oof. I was even up on time. Okay, what to do? Just fight. Fight till the bitter end. Uh, let's see. Uh huh. How about this? Uh, so I forgot. Uh, ay, 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 ay. Let's see now.
Mm -hmm. Okay, he sacrifices, but uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm happy. Uh, okay. That's a bit. Ah, no, what am I doing? I'm doing now everything. E6 is hanging. Yeah. Okay, I need to focus now. This was really bad. How to how to fight now? Oof! This was terrible. Mm -hmm. Now I need to focus not to get meta. Uh, okay. Let's see, queen a8, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry for not, not speaking too much, but I'm simply in danger of getting mated, so I thought better to focus a bit. Rook h3, I'm not sure what I actually play. Here, queen f3, he wants to take on d7, but is it actually anything? Should be okay for me. Yeah, I will let him do it. Or he wants queen e6 and move the rook, and I'm losing a piece. Aha! This was very smart. Uh, okay, now he lost queen f5. A bit puzzling to me. He wants to go h6 after. Uh -huh. Can I play rook g8, or is it too dangerous? Rook g8. Yeah, but I don't really have an X. I think I need to. I need to just take this guy and yeah, take the next guy. Yeah, this was the yam. Abysmal technique. What about rook f2? Ah, very nice, very nice. Very nice. Mm hmm. So he tricked me again. I will resign this game. Don't think the position was very clear. I mean, at least I was not doing that badly. Let's see. I will oh, okay. try to come back. Or come back, I'm not even sure that I'm down. I have no idea about the score. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Bishop f4, I guess. Knight h5. He likes this knight h5. He always goes knight h5 when I'm doing something there. Uh, maybe just bishop e3, yeah? a little bit more calm move, but maybe some ideas against, uh, against a7. I hope is to get some b4. 
So if I, yeah, no, it's too dangerous. Bishop d4 maybe, you know, looks simple enough. Knight f4, queen e3, knight d5. Mm. Let's see, maybe some repetition, but maybe I should not repeat. Yeah, it should be better. It's now this, uh-huh. C3 looks strengthening. Rook FD1 is also very tempting. Oh, maybe I can go to C2. Wasn't really the intention, but why not? Uh, 97 he wants from this. Uh, interesting move. Thanks. Uh, just something solid. And then see, yeah, bishop a4 and knight a4 shouldn't really worry me. This I wanted to come back. Now maybe g3 is an, it's an option. b4 also at some point I need to play before. Mm -hmm. mm, but how should I start? This was a bit strange. I will play 95, asking what this is going to be. After a6, he has some weaknesses, I think. Not sure, but I think so. Uh, can I make use of it? That's another question. Knight d6, knight c5. Yeah, doesn't look impressive. So I go back, and now I want g3, bishop g2, maybe. Let's see. Or maybe just to advance. Why not? Knight f6, knight b3, I guess. Ah, oh, he can take and play bishop a4. Huh? Or he can come there, as I didn't see. That's a bit unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Queen e2, I guess. He's still. No, he wants to take. Okay, what should I do? It takes maybe. Huh? I really don't like how the position has changed in the last few months. Then again, maybe I can still fight. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other hand, I liked it a bit more. So now I have this knight c5 move. Should speed up again. Very important, always to speed up. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for some tricks like knight takes e6, but I don't think it works. Maybe just the pin is good enough. Uh, okay. See. I, thought, I think this queen ending is very, very promising for me. Yeah, now I go a6, a7, a8. Yeah, checkmate. Actually, what is the score, David? Do you know? 7 4. And we are playing 8 and half, yeah? Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> 7 4, okay. Let's see. Yeah, that was not a very uh, sort of smooth game, but uh, I mean, I don't think I was ever worse, and I was doing okay time wise, so I guess. I mean, not fair, but also not that unfair, I guess. So let's see. Mm -hmm. And it was nice to win a game after losing a few in a row, of course. 
and let's see, he likes this name so. Let me see what is this old line. G4, that's his ID. Okay. Uh, normally I should reply in the center, I guess. Yeah, you're playing ID4. I never saw the G4 before, but it looks quite interesting. Uh, I think you should have taken an E4 and tried to create the G5 pawn for the E pawn, getting a majority in the center. That's normally how these things work. But uh, maybe this also is not that bad. Let me try to play solidly. Uh, Bishop G4. Let's see. Okay, uh, maybe to this, no, maybe let's take. See, I think, I have a feeling that his position is a bit overstretched. Like E4 I take and play Bishop G4, I think. And it looks to me like some, uh, it's a bit too much, yeah. But uh, like D5, I take it. Uh, and if this, I thought I will take here. I want to play knight d5, but I'm not sure that it works. But let's make something else. I mean, rook c, knight c4 is coming, I guess. Shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I'm threatening to take on e3, e2, and then collect the pawn on d4. Uh, that's why he moves. Now, oh, what is this? Uh, knight e5, in e3, knight g6. It's a bit of a strange way to play this position, but uh, I like the safety of the, of the knight on g6. Probably completely unnecessary. Uh, but it's very difficult to, to get going for him on the king side. Maybe he should get going in the center instead. Yeah, that's what he tries to do. Takes there, okay. I guess b5 is more. Okay. My intention was to take an e2, but then I changed my mind. Uh, somewhat unclear why. Okay, let me, let me now collect. Ah, he takes with the knight, of course. I should have taken the other way around. Let's see, can I play f6? I don't want to play f6, but it probably doesn't work. Knight e7, yeah, knight e7, knight f5 maybe is an idea. Yes, I should try. If it doesn't go knight b3, knight c5. Uh, well, he sort of does, yeah, not in the way that I thought, but... Uh, okay, let me try to attack him. Uh-huh. What is this? Rook c8, d5 I allow, but then bishop c5 is a move. Hmm. And a5 I want if I am allowed. h5 finally I allowed this. It's not my intention. Now d5 I don't have bishop c5. But I have a5 probably, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I misplayed a bit. Now I'm not in control anymore. Maybe I'm doing okay, but I have no idea. Before I'm, I'm sure that I was doing very well. Basically I should not let him, uh, let him push like this, the pawns. Uh, okay, what about a5? I guess a5. Rook c8, I take with the queen. I'm hoping to get some some passed pawn on the queen side and that it that it becomes very strong. Mm. So knight d5 is probably the the move because this I thought was very dangerous for him. Uh, take take. Let's see, queen c3. Ah, oh, back. Did it trick me? Maybe it tricked me. Ay, ay, ay. I need to get going with my pawns, but how? Let me just take. I don't know. No, this was very bad, actually. Now d5 comes. Yeah, I wanted knight f5, but knight f5 also doesn't make so much sense. Ah, this was not very good at all. Takes. I guess I have to take it. 
I will just take it and see what happens. Now I want before. Uh huh. He gives immediately this form. C1. I'm not worse. No, I'm for sure not worse. Okay, that was very lucky. Uh, also, I'm not sure why he stopped moving his pieces in the end. I mean, if he just keeps his bishop, it was a draw. Okay, he probably wanted to flag me, but he needs a bishop to, uh, to execute that. Okay, that was very lucky. I mean, to be honest, it was a uh, pretty dubious game. Um, I mean, I was doing so well at first and lost control. Control completely. Uh, let's see. Just try to keep some sort of control, but also not too slow. And that's the overall game plan. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This time I should probably play e5 at some point. I neglected it completely last game. I mean, last game. I mean, uh, actually, it was, I think, the first game in the match or second. But last time we had this structure, I mean. Uh, I think they should be a bit more comfortable for white, but nothing special. It does have some issues with uh, with the bishop on g7 if I can manage to block it. Uh, let's see. B6. I want to provoke something over, over on the queen side, but this queen a4 is the sort of move that yeah, you don't really want to play. You want to stay in the center, but sometimes these moves are are necessary to make. Let's see. I guess rook a d1. It's fairly easy to play. You should play something like h5. He plays b5 instead. No, I guess knight d5. Take with the rook. I mean, this is uh, still slightly, slightly better for white, I guess. And, but above all, it's, it's very easy to play, actually. I think. Or did I already make it more complicated? Mm, what happens if I now take? Take, take. He will take on a2. Queen b4. e6. Queen g4. Yeah, why should I do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm doing it anyway. Ah, rook d4, a3, yeah, takes queen a1. And this is very tricky by our friend. Let's see. Now e6, I can sort of attack his attack his rook, maybe. A queen e6 is a better move, of course. I which I missed. Mm, should I take? Let's make it up to take. Takes with the queen. Now I'm a bit worse, maybe even. And I'm low on time, actually. I was very slow this part of the game. Okay, I want to push. Uh, 
Ah, if I move like this, I will. Uh, like this, you cannot even see. Yeah? That's how. Now my B pawn is actually starting to run. I think actually I have some counterplay. Surprisingly or undeservedly. Let's see. What about rook d7? Let's see. He takes, he wants to flag me here. I'm not sure, because his position is a bit tricky to play. What can I do? Uh, let's check. Okay, now let me play. Okay. okay, so he will try to flag me here. I will try to avoid it. Uh, I think he is the favorite, but Okay, well done to him. I mean, it was quite clear that uh, that I was going to get flagged when I traded the rooks. I needed some way of forcing the for forcing sort of him to to defend or allow some perpetual or something like that. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, happens. That was more or less how I expected some of these games to go. So I'm not too. Too sad about it. Let's see in this again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is this? I have no idea what kind of version we got here. I want to delay playing uh, a5 a bit, but now probably I have to, otherwise I lose a pawn. Uh, so now I should put a knight somewhere. The queen side, I guess, or maybe I can put it on uh, e5. Normally it, it goes to c5 or b4 here, but that's a bit better for white for without any real counterplay. So let's try to do it a bit more ambitiously. Let's see. Knight mm -hmm. mm -hmm. c6, I take and play knight e5 is my idea. Should be okay. So knight e5 anyway is probably my next. Uh, this, he wants. Okay, let me play knight e5. Presumably rook d8 is a move. Queen c8 is a move, but queen b8 is another move. b8 maybe. Okay, h5. I need to get some counterplay actually. Uh, yeah. I think I have gotten some some counterplay. Always hard to say in these positions what is real counterplay and what just looks interesting. 
Now, if it takes on d5, I have to take with the pawn probably because I missed knight takes e6. That was absolutely terrible, but still, still it's maybe not so bad. I have this idea of queen d6. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. took my idea. Let's see, knight f4, knight e7, 38 I want to play, but I cannot. Okay, let me try knight. Knight f4, bishop e3, yeah. I can play then g6. Does it make any sense? Probably not. But g6 is nice to get. In any case, I think. Because now he has to go back on the other side, which he doesn't really want to. So rook e8, now I want rook e2. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Rook e2 is, I think, a major concern for him. Uh, Let's maybe move out of the way. Knight h5 is a move also, interesting move. Yes. Uh, what is this? Queen f4 maybe is next. I'm not sure. Okay. It was a bit strange. Now I think I'm winning a piece if I am not calculating entirely wrong. But I think the position was already very, very pleasant for me, actually. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, especially with the A pawn, yeah, I'm just way too fast. Just not to stalemate him, uh, that would be a bit. Okay. Yeah. It was a good match, Fred. <laughs> I think, uh, I mean, we had some of these games that were <laughs> terrible from the start to the finish. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think we had some games which, which was not uh, not that bad. Yeah. Like, for instance, his his first two wins were pretty pretty good. All right. Uh, but also, also uh, like two or three of my wins, I was pretty satisfied with actually. So. I like it, your tutorial about how to mate with two rooks, two, two, yeah. rooks, okay. <laughs> two queens, a queen can rook. <laughs> Very yeah, instructive. I, actually, uh, I never under, understood this before, but it's actually much faster with queen, yeah? Yes. <laughs> because everything is protected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but really you play it very, very well. I like it, and the stream was very good. Yeah, stream, I I think I was talking much less than last well, time, but, but you play, talk, I did it all uh, the time, yeah? <laughs> no, no you, you did it very, very well, and I enjoyed it. Then, okay, okay, okay yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. I think uh, somehow for myself it felt like I, I, I was more focused on the games, yeah, and less on the talking this time. Yeah, I think. Okay, uh, then thank you. Yeah, thank you. Very much. See you in the next round. Yes, sure, sure. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye.